Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Molchop here. Another game between the STC and Fruit Cellar coming at you here. Uh, apparently, by the way, this Korean here, the first few uh, Hangul characters, I think I said that right, uh, are just how you would say OGS in Korean, just sort of the way it would be pronounced if you were saying it out loud, which is the clan that um, both these players are in, OGS, the STC. Um, again, I just got these replays off a replay site. I'm not sure exactly what the context is. They were said they were BNet games. Uh, I'm assuming because of the observers that they're just some sort of clan games or whatever, just for fun practice. Um, but we shall see. Hopefully it'll be very interesting. Either way, two very high-level Korean players uh, going at it here. And uh, the STC is going to put down his barracks uh, over here and a react um, refinery rather before depot, um, which leads me to believe it's probably some kind of a reaper opening, um, some kind of a reaper rush thing. And hopefully, uh, fruit seller is going to be able to get a queen out or something pretty soon. Even with the, the queen out, I mean, Zerg players tend to um, scout this early on. We'll see if he does a drone scout or something to check this out. Overlord is going to be way too late to see what's going on. Um, but Zerks have gotten pretty adept at dealing with these uh, Reapers, the, these early Reapers. Um, you know, if they get some Zerglings out, if they get speed for the Zerglings, and, uh, you know, as Diggity likes to point out, the, with the speed upgraded Zerglings um, can do pretty well, especially on creep against the Reapers if the Reapers are not speed upgraded. But if the Reapers get speed upgraded, <coughs> then you're in trouble, um, even with the Zerglings. And uh, the Queens can do okay because they have a decent range on creep, but again, once they get to the edge of the creep, they're just so, so slow that Reaper can, Reapers can just attack and fall back and kite around and, and, and be fine. Anyway, the STC is going to come here and check to see if there's an expansion. What is he going to do? Just patrol his little guy there. That's kind of cool. Um, anyway, spawning pool almost up. He's going to produce a queen almost immediately, uh, but Reaper is on the way. Look at this. First Reaper is almost completed. It's going to have to traverse the map to uh, to get over there to do any damage, but uh, it may be able to. A second Reaper is already being produced as well, so he's really, really sorry about that. My mouse was uh, being weird. Um, he's going to have to do something over here. This SCV is falling back, and I like this. Look at this. The Reaper going around the top around the top out of the overlords and this SCV scouted where all the overlords were so the reaper will not be known at all until it arrives in the base a few zerglings are out queen is almost out oh oh watch out reaper <coughs> never mind watch out zerglings reaper's just gonna run right up into the main he <laughs> look that's kind of cute the reaper using a ramp um roach is out oh oh does he oh he had a chance to maybe try and pop that roach warren early on Anyway, the Queen's uh, takes a pot shot at the Reaper, doing a grand total of eight damage. Um, he's going to wait for more Reapers and then try and go in and maybe uh, kite around and try and attack that Queen there. He needs to fall back, taking a shot and falling back, taking a shot and falling back. Oh, and look at this. Bunker being built at the bottom of the ramp. Um, the Queen can't go over here and try to take care of this SCV because if he does, these Reapers will just own him off the creep. Roachworn is almost up. Um, he's got... Uh, Several larva here ready to make some roaches. He's got the money in the bank, but he doesn't have the supply. Oh, he's supply blocked. Uh, never mind. I think he's supply blocked because he did make some units just now. Some drones, actually, with those larva and an overlord. Okay, so I guess he feels that, okay, he's got the roach horn. He doesn't really need to do anything with it. I think at least one roach will be handy to have about now. Anyway, um, he's switching over here. He's gotten the factory going, and he is, uh, what is he? What is he doing? Why does he have the tech lab on the factory? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe he's going to use this, the barracks to produce something else. Anyway, either way, he's got a bunker over here, and he's got the Reapers not in the bunker. A little bit confusing. He's using it to get vision for some reason. Um, I'm not sure what that's all about. He might want to put him in the bunker and stop units from getting out. Maybe he just figures that once he has enough units to kill that bunker, it's not going to matter very much. He might as well save the, uh, the Reapers. Let's see. Is he going to go after the bunker right now? Yeah, see, those Reapers could do a significant amount of damage if they were in that bunker. I guess he can salvage it. Yep, salvages it in time, so no harm done. Uh, single Marine going to assault that Overlord. STC giving us a semicolon here to tell us how he feels. Uh, here comes those Reapers again. They're going to fall back. Oh, they get caught. Several several hooks taken on this Reaper. Just down to three life. It is almost dead. It's going to have to... Uh, uh, stay out of the fight from now on. Anyway, so he does have, and he's still just, um, 
Nia is still just making Hellions out of this uh, factory with a tech lab on it. He's now got a starport with a tech lab on it as well. Curious to see what he's going to do with that. Um, I like this move here, putting the spire kind of off to the edge. So if he commsats the main, he won't see it. Um, really, really cool move. It's something that I've actually, uh, I think I used that in the beta to try and hide some tech once. Uh, <clears throat> using the creep generation to kind of give yourself a spot where you can make some extra creep. Uh-oh, here's those roaches coming in, actually doing a significant amount of damage over here. Only a couple of marines in that bunker. SCVs coming up to it, uh, repair this uh, supply depot. They're barely going to... No, uh, the SCVs are within range that the uh, roaches can attack over that uh, bunker. He kills off a few SCVs there. I'm sorry, over the depot. There's those uh, Hellions now have gone in to try and do some assaulting themselves. Spire's almost complete, but he ha doesn't have much. Oh, look at those Reapers came in the back to draw fire while the Hellions go in the front, but the speed upgraded Zerglings catch the Hellions and pick off both of them. Wow, so both players are putting a lot of pressure on each other. That Banshee is out now. He's got to get something out for the Banshee, a second queen or... Uh, he really needs to get a second queen, basically, if there's going to be a second Banshee. Um, yeah, there's a second Banshee. So he needs to get some anti-air, or he needs to finish him right now. He can send in those Zerglings, maybe, to distract, do some more damage to these buildings while the Roaches do the primary amount of damage uh, and kill off SCVs that are repairing. But he's got a third Marine in that bunker now. Here comes the Banshee coming in there. The Spire is actually up. Duh. I don't know why I think of, didn't think of Spire uh, when I was thinking of anti-air. He's got the Cloak down. Shouldn't take too long to build a uh, to uh, morph into an overseer uh, if he's going to. Maybe he doesn't want to. There's the overseer right there. Uh, but in the meantime, several drones going down. This thing is just going to start taking stuff out until it's out of cloak energy. It's still got a fair amount left. The overseer is not quite in yet. There's the overseer. It's going to spot that. The mules are, are going to take care of that banshee, but not before it reaches the rank of sergeant. No, something sergeant. I forgot, I missed the first word. 11 kills on that Banshee. That was worth its weight in gold. Um, or minerals, I guess, even even more so. Large force mounting outside of this uh, this base. It looks like he's going to try and go in with a few mutas. He's got roaches and some zerglings. He's got five mutas out. And some more zerglings coming in. He's just going off one base here. Look at this. Baneling Nest is now morphing. What he might do is wait for that Baneling Nest. Uh, just harass with these uh, mutalisks. Okay, single uh, Viking is out. That's going to nullify those Mutalists. Well, not completely, but um, with the Vikings chilling next to this bunker, the bunker being static defense, the Viking is, uh, as I've heard it called, the siege tank of the sky. The Lanzer torpedoes can fire so far. Look at that. Uh, range 9. Uh, so they can outrange pretty much everything in the air. There's those Banelings morphing. All he needs is those five, basically. If we can land them right on the right buildings, the rest of the Zergans can stream in and surround everything. Uh, wow, what the f I didn't even re I saw that other Banshee going over there, and I figured, oh, he's got Mutas, he's got a Queen. Piece of cake. Nope, eight more kills on that Banshee, and no drones in the main. So it is all up to this last attack. Here come the Banelings. Banelings finally get the depot. Zerglings try and run in. The Banelings get the, um, the uh, bunker as well. Here he comes in with all these Zerglings. Uh, Thor is now in the uh, in the mix, but is just getting surrounded by Zerglings. Too many Zerglings is bringing the SCVs off the line. If he can repair that bunker, he can win the game. If he doesn't, he might lose last bit here, though. And, oh, the bunker gets repaired! Somehow he manages to get that bunker surrounded by SCVs around the outside. They barely pushed off the Zerglings. He needs to repair it again, though. More Zerglings are in the mix there. And that one hero bunker. Wow! saving the day and basically saving the game here because that banshee took out somehow every single drone he's now starting to produce more drones over here he doesn't have a queen though he doesn't have any money either either uh that overseer and a single mutilus took out that uh and never mind uh fruit seller has left the game not wanting to try and build back up off of zero drones so uh wow so stc taking out fruit seller in both those games actually very interesting although um, you know, these were not big league games as far as I know. It looks like they were just almost messing around games. Uh, so, uh, can't take them too seriously as a, as a superiority thing. Although, Fruit Seller is like 72nd on the Korean ladder and STC is 18th, I believe. So, um, if that goes to show you anything. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this game again. And, uh, it looks like we had a few lag issues, few FPS issues, but not too many. So... Uh, the 15 FPS 720p resolution seems to be okay, but again, you know, I'm going to try and get that upgraded. Let me know if um, you have any uh, comments on that, and uh, I'll try and do that, and, you know, maybe I'll um, 
look into getting a, a better heat sink so I can overclock my computer and that might help me get um, be able to record at a higher FPS. We shall see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks very much for watching. Again, uh, I think I've said this before, but I'm trying to remember to use these tabs. I'm trying to use them more. I apologize. I just keep forgetting they're there. Um, but I'm going to keep an eye on that more in the future. So, um, yeah. GG.